Book of the Cycling. This is going to be a video on recording one of my previous videos, or should I say re-recording it, um, from one of my other channels and putting it on this channel because this is going to be a one-year review of having used this specific thing after I've done this. But for those who have not seen this kind of deal before, I'm going to do a complete unboxing for you by playing my video and recording at the same time and then giving you my review of one year later. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. I'm here by Loud Bicycle, which I know there's just plenty of YouTube channels on that on, out there already, but I kind of want to do my own kind of YouTube video. So I'm doing this for, for those who uh, know me and for those who uh, would like to get this and for the fun of it. So, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, and I'm going to go ahead and um, see how it works. So, I got this from LoudBicycle.com. It is a, if, for those who don't know, a, a essentially a car horn for a bicycle. So, I'm going to get a knife real quick and cut this part off real quick. And for... Uh, Future videos, if you guys want some silent uh, uh, unboxing and usages, just let me down in the comments. And if you guys want some with uh, me speaking or narrating, just let me know. It doesn't matter to me. Try to do this with the camera to see it all the way. I see. specific instructions of how to use this. two car horns in it. This one here has two as well. I'm glad I got the car I wanted. I would, uh, I will apologize. Unfortunately, the video quality I'm using on my, on a, uh, my other phone to record what's on my working phone. The video quality is not that great, but, uh, I will be re-showing my actual horn and some of the stuff I show in this video on uh, my working phone when I get to recording on that one, as you guys can see a better, clearer quality picture and audio on that. So just bear with me on this part here, and then once this unboxing and review is done, then I'll give you guys the uh, rundown of that one and what I think about it one year later.
Tape Bay or the original tap USB. But uh, I decided to get that for my own identification product purposes. But you also hear me saying that in here too. Specifically, there is a uh, website to register the bicycle as such, and I put it on there. So if anybody wants to look up any of those parts right there, they can look at the project529.com, and they can actually put those numbers on there as a, a special marked number, and then they'll find my bicycle on there. So. And I'll do a video on that as well. But that's my bag. This is plate. Not required to have it in Oklahoma. Anywhere in Oklahoma, but I have it just to have it. And for anti bicycle theft purposes. I do have a bar yet bar coming in, which I'll do a video on a separate video for that one there. And I'm gonna have it displayed underneath this part right here. Behind this. And then time I might actually remove this whenever this uh, C virus thing goes away. Or the off restaurants open up, and then I'll remove this best so I do have a rack going up, coming up for that part there, like I have right here. Except for it's going to be at. This is before I met uh, uh, through their note uh, Tina and Joe. So, and the video I'm recording, or have recorded, I gave them a. Uh, I'll be get, I would have given them a shout out, which I did in a later video. But this is also a new channel, so for them, Tina and Joe, shout out to you guys. Totally or full by Sorak. With that hairs, I'm planning on installing that right here. So I might get rid of this. But I'm going to be still installing it right here. Or better, one of those six places. This one here. The part that I'm pointing to is a little uh, crossbar that I bought on eBay. It was only like a six inch little crossbar. And uh, for what purposes I need it for my bicycle, that uh, you guys, uh, that for those who have seen my DHE channel, my Devil Hunter Entertainment channel. Um, my bigger crossbar actually contains all the, uh, the long enough length that I needed for all the stuff I now have on my bicycle S where this is way too small for what I needed. So. It's actually a camera and not a flashlight. Records audio and video. Alright, got this thing, uh, on my bicycle. Right there, attached by that bolt, right there, and that right there. And 
both sort of really kind of like, not really that great. It's more like a backup in case these things go out or something like that. And this crossbar right here is what I'm talking about. Not that it's just the beginner one. I still have it in case I get another bicycle. Well, I'm eventually going to be buying another bicycle. I'm just debating whether to get one from Terry's Bicycles in London or from one from uh, um, Ryan Van Duzer's his, uh, Pinion, uh, I think, 300 uh, gearbox bicycle. I actually want to get both of them, but it's still too costly in either part. And it's uh, the one at one of Terry's in London actually is a bit cheaper, though. But when I get those, I'll probably end up using that uh, crossbar again on that one until I can afford to get to another crossbar. Uh, from Boryak because I actually prefer Boryak's crossbar. So, but that's what I was talking about. That's only six inches long and it's really small and it does a job for a quick purpose, but for long-term usage of whatever you need to have in your bicycle, it's not the right kind of thing. I need to, one that's bigger and longer for the purposes of which I needed it for. I got this attached to my handlebar for the arm part itself. And speaking of which, uh, I believe uh, 